Today we're catching and cooking squirrel. I'm here with my son Holden. I'm going to show you how we caught this squirrel and how we're going to turn him into a delicious burger. Join me. Take kids out and then show them beginning and end what it takes to put food together. Dad, did you get him? Yeah, I think so. I got the little man here. He's he's hot and heavy, loaded. No, he's not loaded yet. He's just carrying the gun. Uh, we're going to go see if we can find some grays and black squirrel. So we're just going to go for a little walk. Oh, there's a deer here. A couple deer. Watch, there's another one coming through right there. We got the Ruger 22 here. We're going to get out of the wind a little bit here and we'll sight in. Let uh, Holden shoot the gun a little bit and see how he does with it. If he's afraid of recoil, try to explain to him that there's not very much recoil on the 22. Ready? Yep. Dad, did you get him? Yeah, I think so. Yay, we got it. <laughs> what do you think, dude? We got him. <laughs> that was a long walk, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally get one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Another one. Another one. Yeah. Good job, buddy. This pound, baby. There's another gray squirrel. Is it heavy? Yeah. Yeah? Hi right, guys, we got our squirrel here. We're just gonna clean it up real quick. For you, those of you who wanna watch the Unlisted channel, you wanna watch the graphic stuff, you're gonna have to switch over to the GoPro camera here. I'm gonna put that on my Unlisted channel. Link will be down below. So all I'm gonna do, you gotta switch over to that channel. You're not gonna see what I'm doing. What I'm gonna doing is be below the screen level here. So I'm gonna pinch the back here. Holden, you've seen this before? No, you haven't. Not on yeah. a squirrel? Well, not on a squirrel, but on a rabbit. Oh, rabbit. Okay, it's a little bit different. So we're gonna go through the back here. Just straight through, like that. Until we get through the hide. We get our fingers in there. All right, guys, we're gonna get our fingers in there. We're almost there. I'm going fast because the GoPro camera on the other side it's running out of battery, so we might not get to show it all. Hopefully we do. So once we get in, I gotta get below that tissue there. There we go, and we're just gonna pull. That's it. I'm gonna take a little bit more out there. So all we're doing is pulling all the way across here. We're gonna undress it like we would any other sock. Take your sock off. Just gonna pull. Except it's much harder. Yeah. Not too bad. Cut where necessary. This one doesn't seem to want to tear as easily as other ones do. And we're gonna pull from left to right all the way to the head. Once we get to the head, everything out. Ah, oh, gross, eh, buddy? <laughs> smells gross. It doesn't even smell at all. Yes it does. Does it? I don't smell anything yet. No, like the belly smelled bad. Did it smell bad? And you just let it, you just hung it on a tree. <laughs> I bet you that's going to be gone in a couple days. Yeah. Okay, for you guys over here, I'm going to take this home now. We're going to cut it up into small pieces. I'm going to debone it. I want to make it into burger meat because it's going to be most tender that way. So I'm going to soak it in the salt brine and and then we're gonna take it all apart and mash it. So, can you get the bag there, bud? Okay, in the bag it goes. <laughs> there. Okay, good. Guys, we got one more squirrel to go, and we're gonna be back here uh, next day uh, to cook it up and make a burger. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, cool, good hunting. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna make a fire, cook it up the right way.
finally got the fire going. It's the worst conditions in the world to get a fire going. It's raining, it's sleet, it snowed overnight. We're getting close to winter, so it's the perfect time to make our wild meal. I got the uh, squirrel all ready yesterday, cut it up in pieces. I wanna make a burger, so I don't want full pieces. We don't wanna be chewy, right? So a trick I learned is actually use salt water and I put it into brine. So I make my own wadobo spice, I salt water, drain it a couple times, get all that blood out, get rid of the chewiness. We've had charcuterie before, it's good with the salt, right? So salt, spices, that's all you need. Let it soak overnight, cut it up in small pieces. We don't want this burger to be chewy. So we're gonna drain out the liquid here and we're gonna tenderize it a little bit more too. We're gonna pound that out, make it nice and tender. I've got an onion, oh shoot dude, I forgot an egg. Do you think you can go find an egg? I saw a nest down by the creek there. You can go find an egg for me? Yeah? Okay, you go run off, get the egg. Get the egg. I'm gonna pound this, make it nice and tender. We're gonna put our burgers together. Go off, go grab the egg. Oh man, look at all that beautiful squirrel meat. Some they were down at the nest by the creek. Oh, good job, man. What do you think they are? Goose eggs? Maybe. Maybe? All right, thanks, dude. Put those in in a second. I gotta keep pounding these out. It smells really good, Dad. Gotta slide all that good meat in there. So, what are you thinking? You don't want onion? No. No onion? Mix the eggs in here. Bushcraft stir stick. What do you think? Good? Want some onions yet? No, I don't <laughs> like onions. How about now? No. No. <laughs> okay, that's looking good. How about now? No. Alright, I'm gonna put onions in mine. I found this in the woods. I've got a secret ingredient. Do you know what this is? No. This is two chunks of bear fat. Yay! <laughs> bear fat's awesome. So I'm just gonna chunk this up in little pieces here. And that's gonna be our cooking oil. And this is from a bear I shot during the Wilderness Living Challenge. If you guys haven't seen that series, you should go back and watch. We caught all sorts of wild animals. We lived off the land for eight solid days only eating wild food. And a big part of that challenge was finding all the calories that we needed. So bear fat is a key ingredient that we learned for surviving in Northern Ontario. And this is going to add all that we need in order to keep this burger a complete meal. All right, let's put this on the fire. So Holden noticed all the bear fat was gone. Yeah, it's all liquidy now. And it smells so good. Yeah, it is good. So we're just trying to knock the fire down because obviously if it gets too high, it's gonna burn the fat. So we're just burning some of that carbon off. Let's get that fire going real hot. All right, so our fat's rendered out. We're working on that fire, trying to knock it down. It's a little high right now, if we put it in now, we're gonna burn our grease, so I'm giving it oxygen, fanning it, giving some oxygen, burn off all that wood parts. We just want coals, ideally. We also don't wanna wait around here forever. We wanna get eaten, I'm hungry, are you hungry? Yeah. yeah. So let's go warm up this oil, and then we're gonna find out now if this slurry is actually gonna turn into a burger and hold a burger form, or end up more like a sloppy joe. I'm thinking sloppy joe, are you okay with the sloppy joe? I don't want to eat it now. 
Now you don't want to eat it now? I just touched it. Of course I touched it. Yep, yeah, now your hands are like your hands are gross. They're gross now. Okay, so this is not going to be a burger. It's going to be a sloppy joe. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> sloppy joe, here it comes. Squirrel mixed an egg with wadobo spice makes a sloppy jane. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, time for a secret ingredient. Sweet baby rays. I think that's gonna do the trick. <laughs> what do you think of that, dude? That looks all right. Hey, buddy, looks good? Yeah. Squirrel meat. Yummy. With bear fat. Your meal's here. Your place here. We need a. Uh, we need some more cutlery. That that looks like a spoon. <laughs> Are you gonna put a tomato on yours? No. No, no tomato. Put a pickle. So you can. How about a side of pickle? Ouch! That's hot. This turned out pretty good. Let's see how it tastes. I think how it tastes kind of matters. Well, I want to taste it. Well, of course. Well, you can't have that because it's wheat. Yeah, it's a wheat bread, so you, you have to eat it. I'm going to have a not, not wheat bread. It's good. It's good? Does it need any more barbecue sauce? No? It's uh, a bit chewy, but it's good. Yeah, what does the squirrel meat taste like? Barbecue sauce? Yeah. <laughs> Can you taste any of the wadobo in it? A bit. A bit? Is the meat tender or still chewy? Chewy. Chewy? Really chewy. Really chewy. <laughs> Do you think we did a good job or a bad job? Decent. Decent? Do you think the muskrat was better? Yeah, the muskrat was still better. So maybe we need to pound that out a little bit more. A lot more. I can't chew this. Squirrel's chewy. I get first pick for the pickle. I want the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> you bum. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do I think two open-faced ones so mm. that I get more meat. So Holden thinks it's chewy. It is chewy. <laughs> well, we know squirrel meat's chewy. That's why we made it like this. I throw a tomato on, two tomatoes on there. That's what mine looks like. Open-faced. Let's take a big chomp. You're gonna chew that for 30 minutes. No, you're not. It's already chewed up. I disagree. That's not chewy at all. That's really good. I never said it tastes bad. I said it was chewy. Oh, okay. I got you. No, that's good. I could eat that every day. Probably need a little bit more bear fat. Um, we probably could have let it do the charcuterie a little bit more in the salt water. But that's really good. Squirrel meat is chewy. I mean, we got to treat it like it's a chewy, dry meat. But this is a perfect sloppy dough. 100% I would do that again. If I was not, if I was using modern tools, I would grind it. 100% put it through a grinder, and that would be really good squirrel ground meat. It's not chewy. It is if you, chewy. If you had to eat it off the carcass, you would know what chewy is like. It would be super chewy, but this is really good. All right, guys, you can subscribe or not. I don't care. Subscribe to Holden. He cares. He doesn't have a channel. He doesn't care. Uh, um, see you guys in the next one. Guys, if you get a chance to take a kid out, uh, do some hunting. You know, th this is the next generation of people who are going to be useful. And if we don't teach them how to be useful, we don't take them out, we don't show them these skills, we don't show them how to put wild meals together, it'll be totally lost. So take kids out and then show them beginning and end what it takes to put food together. I just realized that this has tons of hair in it. No, no it doesn't. Yeah it does. Where? Right there.
carnivores eat hair. Ah, boy. That's my boy. And a pickle to top it off. Hmm. Kosher pickle. Clean up your palate for seconds. You think mom wants some of this? Mm, yeah. Yeah? We'll save some for mom. Yeah, leave her some. <laughs> it's good. I stole the rest of your pickle. I stole my pickle. Mmm. <laughs>